Hello again, YouTube Truth Man here. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simp and All Subject channel. So I want to talk about, I want to get back to us melanated ones. And I want to talk a little bit about us as a people, black people. And I want to come from the standpoint of us making a positive mark on the world. We got to do better. It's room for improvement with every single one of us. It is. It is. We, we shouldn't be. The only reason why people can come over here and get rich so easily is because we ain't doing nothing. We've been here from the beginning. And it's like, now we could do something and we ain't doing nothing. We buying into the traps that people set to keep us in a mindset that ain't going to put us over the top. Just gonna cause us to reduce our numbers. You got the black women trying to be like uh, sexy red, Sukiyama, and all them. Glorilla. They'll put a nice looking woman like Glorilla in front of you, and and they try to emulate her. Like, well, Glorilla is like that. She's nice looking. Glorilla need to change and anybody that's been like her need to change. You know, it's like, and that, and I, and I speak from experience because when I first got into the Bible and into the Most High, it's like I was just a hood dude. And it's like, like, it took years and years and years for me to catch on what, what how these jobs was and to play the game. Because every time I was ready to whoop on something, because, you know, I used to whoop on stuff, y'all. I'm just, we ain't even got to talk about it. It's not a good thing. And every time I start feeling like I was going to do it, I just quit. I was quitting jobs where what I should have did was was learn how to see when that that fast money it take years for you to just actually learn most people to learn how to get that fast money going or or no how to how to finance and how to handle your finances once the slow money start, once you stop getting the fast money. It took take years, 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 some people longer than others. But for years, I was quitting jobs and I couldn't see that it was my household that was getting hurt more so than the people I was trying not to hurt. That's just how it be. So now I know, but look how old I am. A lot of you young dudes, y'all the same way. Y'all the same way. Let them look, man. What I should have did was I should have just been hanging in there until I could get and seeking something where they'll just leave me alone. Let me do my job. Just be looking for something else. Find something else first. That's how I should have did it. And that's the same thing with a lot of y'all. You're in your 20s, 30s. You, you, you always quit. That's one of the things that we got to do better, man. We got to. We got to compete. Y'all got to learn. This is one thing that I don't have to learn. I know that I'm, my competition isn't against people with the same shades of skin as me because we looked at the same. So I'm not competing with, and that's that's what y'all gotta understand. I'm not competing with other black men. 
I'm competing with everybody else who thinks lowly of us. We, we got to stop competing with each other. If y'all stop competing with each other, y'all can stop killing each other. You know, y'all y'all got to get like, okay, she want him. Okay, she got him. Leave her alone. Get the ones who don't have anybody. Y'all just want to want to start stuff, want to mess with other dudes, girlfriend, mess with other dudes, wife. You think he going to just let you do that? Especially if he has time and money invested into the chick. Like me, for instance. Okay, let, let's let's talk about me. I'm to the point where if you could get her, because we, you know, we're not a couple like that, then by all means. But here's the thing, though. You got to finance her life. You see this this word this word black men mess each other up. White dudes do too, but we ain't talking about them. They'll inconvenience another man just to get their nut off. But that's another man down, see? Cause black men, they don't they don't want to stay on code. They don't want to be on code. They and, and and I can see it sometimes how they look and act like and it's not all. But think about it. Think about it. Any one of y'all answer me this question. Out of all of you, you and you black men, out of all the black men that you work with, right? How many of them would you say is down for you and your friends? I want y'all to come in the comments and give me just kind of picture in your mind how many of them it is, right? Especially if you work with predominantly black people. And I want you to say, I want you to tell me how many black dudes you work with, right? And how many of them, what you say, is loyal and down for you and like a friend to you or a strong associate. I'll say on oh, my job, let's see. The current job. I would say it's like maybe 80 black dudes. And I would say maybe like three of them I give the flowers of being cool like that. I mean, a lot of them stay out of my way, but we're not. And that's not including Africans. Uh, here's the weird thing about them. All of them cool. I'm talking about American blacks, though. I'm cool with the Africans. It was like that in Texas, too. They just, they do things different. They move different. But black dudes, they want to talk behind your back. They want to throw shots at you. To elevate themselves with the women. What you talking about another man for to some women? But that's what they do. But they don't realize that each time you do that kind of stuff, other people creep in. Like it used to be when I used to work for this same organization. It wasn't that many African, wasn't that many, it wasn't that many foreigners like that. It was some Latinos, but it wasn't that many. But see, no. And white guys just stayed away. Now, it's starting to be more of everything else. I'm telling you, man, I know what I'm talking about. That's why we got to talk about this. And y'all, I hear even, I even hear some of the black people playing this music in their car. And don't get me wrong. 
I like some of it too. But the thing about it with me is is hidden different. It's not influencing me. It's sometimes it do be the beat. Sometimes what they be saying be funny. Sometimes I like what they saying. Like I still listen to people like E40. I listen to some gangster ish sometimes. Alright, let's be honest about it. But it don't hit me the same as it do like a young black male in his teens, 20s, 30s. You in prison right now, right? I'm going to show y'all. This is what they do. You in prison right now, but you making threats. You making threats. Because, see, they think they safe. But, see, here's what happened. You get in the habit of making threats towards others and you're going to make threats towards that wrong person that's going to come see about you. See, these dudes try to threaten the staff. They don't realize with me, I'll get you. I'm going to remember you making threats and if you show any signs of that, I'm going to try to get you first. See, they think we all just nerds and geeks. They don't realize that some of us was doing the same stuff just didn't go to jail. If not worse. So, but in the process of your thuggery, your thuggery, Mr. Thug, Nigerians coming over here getting rich, uh, Latinos coming over here getting rich, Indians definitely coming over here getting rich, Everybody getting rich and you going to prison. So who winning? You doing all they talking about switches and having switches on gun. Man, you know how much time they're going to give you to catch you with that? You wasting your life away. Then these dudes had a nerve to have some kids. You messing up yourself and your kids. And guess what's happening? You seeing Indians coming. I be in their store, so I know. The whole family just trying to take over the city. That's what's going on in Milwaukee right now. All the black dudes is killing each other and going to jail. Living off of women. Not doing nothing substantial. A few And the Indians is swooping in, building stores. They had liquor stores. Then they'll, they'll buy another liquor store. Now they got another liquor store. And you don't have no liquor store. You got to go to them. And they don't like you, the majority of them. Some of them cool. I know which one's cool. Because I be all over. I deal with the one and I respect them. And how they go and their economic prowess. And their family business. They culture in, in regards to family. I respect them. And I like most of them. You can't get mad at them. You ain't giving them no competition. You making it easy for them. Mr. Shoot them up. You ain't no freaking cowboy. You trying to be like John Wayne. John Wayne didn't even like us. Your parents, your grandparents didn't tell you that when they first start getting TVs, they had to watch Westerns or they didn't watch TV. Now watch this, I'm gonna show you something. The black families that didn't watch that stuff, man, they was doing good, a lot of them. Now, remember the story Rosewood? The black families involved, the carriers, they were well to do. So, and it was a lot of black family. It wasn't like this here. Everybody, see, y'all think everybody was broke when that racism stuff was going on. A lot of them was, but a lot of them wasn't. The carriers, the, the ones that's mentioned on Rosewood, they were well to do. Black Wall Street, all that stuff. See, y'all wanted to sit in. Y'all wanted to be friends with them. Please be my friend. Should have been like 
just make it where they can't do nothing to us. And that's what Master, uh, Master, Martin Luther King, that's why he was so mad towards the end because he saw that they used him to put us even further down. And when he figured out what was going on, they got rid of him, just like they will do you. You wonder why they not let you? You better, you better see it. You better see what I'm telling you. Start taking over stuff. Start building organizations where we buy from each other. Start buying land and all of us just live on it, just not committing crimes, governing ourselves, and then watch, watch what they do. They'll put six puppets on a basketball court on the football field, on the baseball diamond, on a movie, and then they'll ridicule them. Have them in the wood stock. Ten dudes, just, just every hole. Now she heartless, but she on screen. Remember Rihanna's verse, I'm tired of these empty rooms? Which I think she was talking about. Huh? They be wanting to just make their money and just disappear and try to forget about all the trauma they had to do and be put through to get it. And that's why I eventually don't come out to YouTube. Because there's a couple of them on YouTube, they found a way to make it without all that. They probably don't even have to do all that to be on YouTube. I don't know, though. I don't know. That could be why Corey Holcomb, you know, he probably doing very well with the show. Well, in fact, I know he is. He can sit back and talk about it. Because he don't have to do what, say, Kevin Hart. He don't got Corey Hogan, don't got to do that. But eventually they might have to, they might come after those types. So, and they also don't care if uh, maybe one or two of us make it, but we don't want to deal with the rest. We don't want to deal with no other black people. We just want to, now I get it, living around whites. I understand that's not what I want. Like, it, I mean, I don't care about having white people around. White people, a lot of them cool. But if I could live amongst a whole bunch of us, right, that get it, by all means, I'm for it. When I say get it, I mean get it money-wise and get it in terms of the way things is. Not the ones who they get with a white person, now you acting funny in target towards black people. You part of the problem. If you get with a white person, you supposed to be the same person. You just got with a white person. You getting with white people based on hatred of, of your melanin, your fellow melanated ones that the masses don't like. That's wrong. That's And that's why it don't always work. If you get with them, especially if you a man. You get with a white woman, you don't, you don't, you, yes, your interests, and you know, they are going to be divided, but you don't start acting like you better than the rest of us or you hate the rest of us. Because them white people will remind you real quick what you is. They will.
So keep talking like black women is the only women right now that ain't doing right towards men. Have you been paying attention, sir? They are talking that stuff. White women be on here talking about men. Black women be on here talking about men. Latinas, Asian, they all talking it, man. They all XX. There's no group of women that you are perfectly safe marrying them with a marriage license. None. None. I'm going to say this, man. I probably should. I probably should. One of my problems with black women is it don't pertain to me because I'm not with all of them, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This, this, you might even think this is funny. How can I say this in a PG-13? Black women was worried about them. They think, I'm going to show you something. Black women think that every man wants to look at a bald cootie cat, a bald meow. They act like they it's a crime, like they're going to go to prison for having a little hair. You can I you know how I know? Because I done watched some illicit act, uh movies through the years, off and on. It's like, man, what is then you see other women, okay, some of them is like that, some of them ain't. But black women, most black women, none. They keep in all these let's let's see, it's a Wax shops probably on every block now, like every couple blocks. And you see nothing but black women going on. But I'm going to get off of that, though. I'm going to leave that alone. That's their prerogative. But they think every single guy like that, they don't. You make sure it's smelling good. Make sure you ain't got no, ST, no STDs, STI, whatever they call it now. Let's keep going. So, all these women do this stuff, man. But we got to get better as a group at building accolades, having accomplishment. It shouldn't just be a bunch of us in Social Security Administration building or a bunch of us down at the welfare building. It should be a bunch of us in truck driving school. A bunch of us going to college and finishing, not going there to be the party guy. And I could tell you about that, too. Finish. Go to school to be a pharmacist and stay there all six years. You only 23. You'll be 29 making 100 grand. But if you don't, you let these dudes who ain't got nothing going pop all these babies in you if you're a woman a black woman now you gonna be fighting your heart out to pay your rent when you a young black woman you supposed to be building accolade, build accolade, build accolade don't try to be like none of them people that they present for you to make you an angry black woman or to make you a hoochie mama black woman don't be like them Preserve your cootie cat. Keep it nice and tight. Don't be sticking a bunch of stuff in there either. Learn how to cook. Get your accolades up and build with a man. Find you a black man that, that would have been raised right, that ain't dancing and stuff, doing all this. Y'all like them. That's y'all problem. Y'all like them. That's y'all problem. And when you see a girl like dudes like that, don't try to be like that. Just say, I'm not her type, she ain't my type, and move on, find somebody else. That's how you do that. 
be in somebody's school. Go on Google, sit at your computer with some cereal and Google, get your whole business plan together. Go do you some Uber Eats. Well, I shouldn't even be saying them. They, they dog me out. DoorDash. Or something. Walmart Spark. Pound, pound, pound. Save that money. Then go to work. Work your job. Then go home, go to sleep. And do it all over again. And then on your off days, just have fun. But y'all, y'all in the bar. You tightest pants you can find. Look at my booty. And you gonna, you know who you're going to find? You're going to find that dude that you're going to have to send that $100 biggie bag. Instead of him putting his money together with you, trying to move in a mansion with a circle drive. So yeah, I think y'all acting white when you do that. But this is what you do. This is what you do. People that think like that, they want to be hood, don't want to hide nothing, accomplish nothing, or they go for the quick money that's going to get them locked up. Here's how you do them.